Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven and earth adore. Even angel bow before. For a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God, what a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. What a mighty God we serve. Hallelujah. Heaven at even angel bow before you for a mighty God we sign Baba Toto Baba and Baba Told you Baba Lomo we ini Baba Baba Toto Baba and Baba Told you Baba Thank you. Lord, we bless you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we glorify you. Thank you for all you have done. Thank you for daily loaded benefit. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for compassion. Thank you because you are there for us. Glory, honor be to your name, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord Almighty, we know we are sinners tonight. Show us mercy. We ask for your mercy. Show us mercy. Let mercy look for us, O Lord. Amen. Mercy will answer us today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And we shall never ever be put to shame. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Glory and honor be to your name. Amen. Jesus, wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Let's jam our hands together for Jesus. Amen. Lord, show me mercy again. Amen. Lord, show me again your love mercy again. You see, 
when we are talking of God show us mercy, it's better to be seen in the book of Psalms the way God wants it to be. If you look at the book of Psalms 103, Psalm 103, from verse 8, Psalm 103 from verse 8, he say, The Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous in mercy. He went on to say, He will not always chill, neither will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us after our sin, which is true, nor rewarded us according to our iniquity, which is true. For as the heaven is as high above the earth, so great is the mercy towards them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgression from us. 13. Like as a father pitied his children, the Lord will pity somebody here today in the name of Jesus. Mm. For he knew it, our frame, and remember that we are dust. As for man, his day are as what? Grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourished. And for the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him, and his righteousness upon the children's children. The last verse, 18. For such as keep his covenant, and to those that remember his commandment, to do them. Amen. Mm. Amen. Mm. You see, there are sins that can resist the mercy of God over a person. That is, you don't need anybody to tell you that there are some sins when you go into, God is not even around there at all. There are sins that can make a person useless before God. No matter the title you carry, no matter the portfolio you have. If you already be putting your hand in some sins, you're already useless before God. I will not be useless. Not be useless. When you see someone who hasn't genuinely confessed his or her sin to God, or as to man as the case may be, such a person we have himself or herself to blame in future. You see, there are things we do carelessly, consciously, unconsciously, and uh, God is looking at us that we should drop those things. But we look at ourselves that we still have enough time to be able to drop those things. I want to let you know today there are no more time waiting for anybody. The future is already here with us. I look at myself. I knew when I was in teenage age. I knew when I was in my 20s. And I knew when I was in my 30s, bubbling with marriage. I knew when I was in my 40s. And I've seen what 50s have cost me with the hope of getting to 60 soon. I pray for all of us. May you never get yourself to be blamed in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is never possible to rob Peter to pay Paul. That is our God. You say you want to rob Peter? You want to use it to pay Paul? That is not our God. And to obtain mercy of God, is only by pure sacrifice. That is, you leave yourself for God, let God use you in whatever way God wants to use you. And I pray for you today, you make yourself a living sacrifice Amen. that God, in his infinite mercy, will use you to the very end. Amen. Some of you may not know what the meaning of a living sacrifice. The day you make yourself available to God, that God, I am a living sacrifice for you, 
then it is now God that will decide whatever he wants to make your life to be. God can decide to make your life to advertise his glory in the academia. He can use your life to advertise his glory in the circular. He can advertise your life for his glory in things that people will say, ah, why is it that this person is doing this? Yes, you may be a prof. Yes, you may be a medical doctor. Yes, you may be an engineer. God can decide not to make use of you as an engineer when you are already a living sacrifice. That is, at the time you say you are a living sacrifice, it is only God that has control of your life. You cannot dictate to God ever again when you are already a living sacrifice. It is God that will dictate the direction of your life. And I pray for you, because some of us, yes, want to be a living sacrifice for God, but we want God to use it in a specific area, which is wrong. Only God will be able to decide how your life will be used as a sacrifice. You see, to obtain the mercy of God by sacrifice, if you are willing yourself in sin, you have no means to receive mercy at all tonight. Forget it. That is, the prayer we are praying tonight is not for everybody. When you know you are going back to your sin, there is no even need asking for mercy. It's only people that need mercy that need to pray tonight. And I pray you will receive mercy of God Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Majority of the today's Christians are living in sin, which I know. And when we ask God for mercy in our quiet time, we normally promise God that we will never fall into such sins again. But God will ask us if we are really sure that we will not go back to our sin. Answers will always come that yes, we will not go back to our sin. By the time God will now have final mercy on us, the following day, you see us going back to that former place of sin. God is never happy. God is never happy. Do you think God will be happy with you? No. It is only when God has given mercy that he will be happy with you. When he obtained, when he withhold his mercy, everything is gone. May never be gone with us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. It is a big problem when God refuses to release his mercy upon us. That means no matter our level of prayer and fasting, we cannot receive except he does that at his own time. Why should you want God to overlook you and I? Please. This is the beginning of a new year. I want you to renew your covenant with God that his mercy will not elude you, that all shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. I personally used to wonder why some pastor would be praying for those who have great problems with God. But God will also tell them that they have a bigger problem than those that they are praying for. Maybe you don't understand. Your pastor is praying for you that you should receive mercy. Whereas he has a problem that is even bigger than your own to answer before God. I pray for you. May God be able to warn us Amen. to drop every sin in our life Amen. in the name of Jesus. You see, most of us have to go through tests of life. And in going through the test of life, that is when you see mercy speaking for us. It is true mercy that we can prove God that is our God. When you are asking for mercy of God and you are lying, what do you expect God to do for you? You are asking God for mercy. You are cheating your neighbor. 
Do you think God will be supporting you whatever you do? No. You take the mercy of God to help Jonah out of the belly of fish, if not for God's mercy. Jonah will have been a dead man. Yes. Without fulfilling his purpose. At all. But tonight, I'm looking at somebody. As you cry to God for mercy, mercy will be applicable to you in the name of Jesus. Mm. And also some of us, the reason why we are suffering and no yet evidence of God's mercy in our life is because of the sins of our parents and our ancestors. Some of us, our parents have done some things that either you like it or not, you will eat out of it. This kind of evil in the blood shed on the ground sometimes ago, you are not there. Are evil practices that have taken place in our villages. Tonight, tonight, God will show you mercy Amen. in the name of Jesus. Brethren, when the mercy of God will come upon you, you yourself you will know it. When the mercy of God will come upon you, no demon can stop you. That one I know. They will never ever stop you. Amen. But let us see some things we need to block tonight. So the mercy of God can reach us. There are some few things we ignore. We are careless about. And I want you to take note of it tonight. Number one, wickedness. Some of us are very, very wicked. We do things in such a way as if we are the owner of our soul, we are the owner of our lives. God is against wickedness. And I pray somebody will not be wicked again tonight mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Number two thing you must run away from for you to obtain mercy of God is bitterness. Some of us, we bought you up some things in our mind against people. And God do not want anybody with bitterness to come and obtain mercy. Whoever you are bitter against tonight, may the Lord give you the grace to be able to release them Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Another thing, number three, is disobedience. They say it's worse than the sin of a witchcraft. Some of you, you disobey God. Talk less of a man. God is not happy. He wants you to trust him and obey him. And as you trust him, and as you obey him, it will help you out. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Some of us are into adultery and fornication. And uh, some of these things can hinder one's mercy. You saw some opposed to all the things that everybody were saying this week now. It was the one that happened this week that brought out all the evil fires he had before. They say when he was in uh, Paul Adi Pharisee's church, he impregnated four ladies at the same time that they had to cover up. They even said to the saying that uh, there are some people that even gave back to him within his wedlock period. But what are we talking about? Anything that will make you to be useless, may God take it away from your life Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Another thing is blocking people from shining. Now some of us, we use our mouth to castigate people. Instead of using our mouth to promote people, we use our mouth to castigate people. God is not always happy. When you use your mouth to castigate people, the Lord will show you mercy mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. Another one is when we begin to steal. We know what stealing is all about. What do not belong to you. Sexual perverseness is another one which is very, very important. Another one is abortion. Another one is holding grudges. Another one is defrauding people. I pray. All these things you should know. We know about the story of Elisha told us in 1 Kings 19, 19 to 21. 
that was busy working on the farm when the Almighty God told him that he has obtained mercy. He became the son of the prophet. Yes, we all knew the story of Gehazi. He was the servant of God of man, man of God. He was a very crook one. He must have been playing some pranks on his ogre, and God must have been watching him and warning him. One day, he came and ran after Naaman, and he got the prophet leprosy of Naaman. Do not let today be your day of destruction. Amen? Amen. As the mercy of God met Gideon in Judges 6, 11 to 16, as you cried also tonight, the Lord will meet you, but if you are still in your sin, let today be the last time you go into that type of sin. Stop playing with your God as if your God is foolish. No. Repent of all your known and unknown sins. Stop that extramarital affair and stop defrauding people. And I want you today to know the day you leave all these things wholeheartedly is the day that God Almighty we deliver you and you shall be delivered in the name of Jesus. So tonight, I will make a confession and declaration and uh, you say it after me, then I will not pray generally uh, for you and the Lord Almighty will help us. And the declaration will be taken from Psalm 121, verse 1 to 8. What do I say? Declaration will be made from Psalm 121, 1 to 8. But before that one, I want you to confess and say, O oh Lord, oh Lord, turn upon, turn upon me, turn upon me, have mercy upon me, have mercy upon me, and give strength unto me, and give strength unto me, and save me with your hand. And save me with your hand. The Lord will answer you Amen. as you have prayed. So. Let us make the declaration of Psalm 121, verse 1 to 8. And I want you to say after me. Are you ready? Yes. After the declaration of the Psalm 121, 1 to 8, then I will pray for you. Then we can take your thanksgiving. We'll be on our way to go and uh, uh, sleep. Oh, yeah, say after me, Psalm 121, 1 to 8. I will lift up my eyes, I lift up my eyes unto the hills. From where cometh my help? From where cometh my help? My help come from the Lord. My help come from the Lord. That made the heaven and earth. That made the heaven and earth. He will not suffer my foot to be moved. He will not suffer my, my foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee, keep thee and keepeth me, keep me will not slumber. Will not slumber. Behold, Behold, he that keepeth Israel, keep Israel shall neither slumber. No sleep. no sleep. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my keeper. The Lord is my shade. The Lord is my shade. Upon my right hand. Upon my right hand. The sun shall not smite me. The sun shall not smite me. By the day. By the day. Nor the moon. Nor the moon. By the night. By the night. The Lord shall preserve me. The Lord shall preserve me. From all evil. From all evil. He shall preserve my soul. He shall preserve my soul. The Lord shall preserve me. The Lord shall preserve me. My going out. My and my coming in, in the time forth and, and forevermore. So shall it be. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, wonderful name, we pray. Amen. Let me now pray for you. And I want your amen to be very loud and clear. Because mercy is fast rushing to somebody. Amen. And it has to be you. Amen. By the blood of Jesus Christ. I speak mercy and deliverance into your life tonight. Amen. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak whatever power that have disturbed you from your father's house. They are all disconnected now because of mercy of God in the name of Jesus. Amen. Mercy of God will connect your life. Amen. Mercy of God will restore you afresh. Amen. And God will use his right hand of mercy to set you all your case tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father and our God, by the power of your mercy from heaven and above, let every closed door, all of them begin to open now, again for your children now in the name of Jesus. Amen. My Father and my God, right from this hour, 
I'm begging you, O oh Lord, use your precious blood to wipe away all evil ones over all our destinies together in the name of Jesus. Amen. That God that make heaven and earth and is the one that made the earth to be his first true. We ask for your mercy. Look unto us as your children and deliver us from this shame that the devil has placed upon us in the name of Jesus. Amen. By your mercy, O oh Lord, you have heard the cry of Bartimaeus, the blind Bartimaeus. You heard him cry for mercy and you said to his case, Tonight, said to us. Amen. Tonight, said to us. God of mercy, whatever that have terrorized our life, whatever the adversary against our life, whatever the ability of the devil to pursue us, all are canceled tonight in the name of Amen. Jesus. That power of God that exposed a work of darkness, we as for now begin to expose every power covering our heaven for mercy in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will remember us tonight. Amen. He will release his tender mercy upon us Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And by the mercy of the Most High God, whatever we cannot do before today, we'll be able to do it. Amen. We want a new business, the Lord will provide. Amen. We want to marry, He will give us. Amen. Who to marry? We want children, He will give us the better one. Amen. Whatever we so desire, O oh Lord, for this new year, God in His mercy will provide for us in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the mercy of God, there will be a way for us. Amen. Even in our wilderness of 2022, there will be a way for us. Amen. And all those powers that are robbing us of mercy and favor of God, your time are over. Release all of us now in the name of Jesus. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. And that we pray for variety by Lord Almighty. Having blessed other people, Lord Almighty, pray for variety in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. If there are issues and anything that has to do with the health of brother Tiba, sister Tiba, and the children, Daddy, we ask for your mercy. Make us whole in the name of Jesus. Whatever you have not planted in our body, I want to use our body to abanate. Holy Spirit, destroy them totally in the name of Jesus. We will not know the way to hospital. We will not know the way to mortuary. Amen. We will not fall sick in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, help your church. Amen. Bless your church. Amen. Let it be well with your church. Amen. And daddy, we pray. You alone can do what no man can do. Lord Almighty, keep us from impending doom Amen. and danger Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever the enemy has prophesied into our life, it is cancelled. It will not work. Amen. It will not stand. Amen. It will not stay. And daddy, we pray. <coughs> Bless generation. Keep your church. Amen. Your church will move forward. Amen. And gate of hell will not prevail. Amen. In the name of God the Father, Amen. the Son, Amen. and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, wonderful name. We pray. Amen. Jam your hands together for Jesus. Now let's uh, take our Thanksgiving offering, then we'll go and sleep. Our Father. That we never, never fail. Our Father, who we never, never fail. Jesus is my Father, he will never, never fail me. Oh, of ages, never, never fail. Hallelujah. Our Father, that we never, ever fail. Hallelujah. Who oh, will never, never fail me, oh. Jesus is my father. He will never, never fail me, oh. Rock of ages. Come and see, oh. 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 Come and see what the Lord has done. Come and see what the Lord has done. 
Father, Lord, we thank you, Holy Spirit. We bless you. Thank you, Lord. As we have prayed tonight, Lord, pray for us. Amen. As we have released your mercy upon us, let it continually to reign in our life. Amen. I will serve you with all diligence and utmost fear of our heart in the name of Jesus. Amen. Keep and preserve our family. Amen. And our tomorrow shall be all right. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Jesus, wonderful name we pray. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, Amen. as we fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Surely, Lord, goodness and mercy and follow us. Thank you, Father. Forever and ever. Amen. Good night. God bless. Amen.